Welcome viewers to Kos Airport. We've got some sad news coming from Greece. First time in my life I've ever been to this wee airport. It was quite small. Um, the public bus I got from uh, Cardamina, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, everybody's saying I pronounced it wrong, but the local bus driver pronounced it that way. Um, <laughs> somebody just bumped right into me there. It's looking at me as if I bumped into the name, I never moved. <laughs> anyway, we are still getting knocked over for it in the airport. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the, the bus drops you off I'm way up there actually, quite. I don't know why they dropped you off so far It could have dropped you off right here at the door But anyway, any mobility problems, that's a wee bit of a walk for you But not, not a big deal The airport looks tiny because when you walk by the airport um, You can actually see security before you go in through the glass So security is just through there I don't know if there's much to show you before we get through security But I'm going to show you exactly what to expect If you're coming here um, and the bus was incredibly quick and cheap it cost me two euros thirty I've got a video showing you um, where the bus stop is in the resort it's almost hidden down a wee side street and uh, it's under I think it's under cost Greece today breaking news definitely maybe it's happening you'll see it at the end of that video so it's, it's pretty easy to find um, once you're in the resort to be fair but this is the airport based in here So there's quite big queues to check in, that's baggage there obviously. I'm not, I'm not going to be checking in then, so that's good. Um, I don't know if there's much really through here before you actually get through security. I'm just going to head through security right now. I'm flying with EasyJet, this flight back was £71. A bit dear on the one going, eh? The cheapest flight I got going, £40. That was going to Bodrum. I'm going to leave a link at the end to all the videos that I've done in uh, Turkey, Bodrum and Goombe or Goombet, how do I pronounce that? And obviously the ones I've done uh, here in Kos as well. So I've got a couple of wee places through here. A wee coffee shop with sandwiches at the back. That's about it before you get through uh, security. It's very, very busy for, for baggage. So if you're checking in here, I'm always hand luggage. I've never got any baggage to check in. Um, but yeah, I'm here in plenty of time anyway. It's just about eight o'clock. To the bus took eight minutes to get here, it was incredibly fast, couldn't believe it. And uh, my flight's at 20 past 10. I'm not, not a fan of these big long uh, late night flights, not a fan at all, but what can you do? It's only one available that I could get. You can hang about all day. Ended up booking another wee hotel just to get a shower and stuff. So I think at the end, even if you've had a great holiday, sometimes the last day you just want to get back home, don't you? Um, but hopefully, I'll get a wee sleep. Let's go through to security. Okay, through security in literally two minutes, and that's even including a random swab test, which I seem to be getting quite a lot of these days. I've just realised my flight's at 10.50. What a disaster. It's not up on the board yet. That's how late it is. Um, so quite a nice duty-free bit here. It's like brand new. It feels brand new and a lot bigger than expected for the size of airport. Uh, we'll check out a few of the deals. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Viewers, tasting bar. I've not had any beers but today. Um... I'm going to land back in Glasgow Airport. It's going to be half one in the morning. Kindly, my dad has offered me a lift, so that's pretty good. Sometimes it can be tricky to get a taxi. Hopefully, there's no any delays. Let's check out how much the celebrations are over here. What do you think, yours? What the hell? Two for 25 euros. That's outrageous. Outrageous, isn't it? It's like 13, 12.95 for once. It's hardly even a saving. Six euros for that. Mad prices for chocolate airport, isn't it? Um, so, regular viewers, you'll know the sad news that's coming, obviously. The video we always do at the end of a wee trip. Hope you've enjoyed the videos in Turkey and in Kos. Six euros for a bar of this. I mean, it is lovely that. It's really nice, that chocolate. I'm still never paying six euros for it. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the videos in Kos and in, uh, in Turkey. They're a bit different, haven't they? A wee bit different. I didn't mean to show you some of the alcohol prices, but we'll move on because I've got shops and restaurants to show you here. Um, they're probably the standard prices you get in most of the EU countries for duty free to bonus. Let me know, is that a mistake? If that really interests you, have I made a mistake there? Burger King and Starbucks, noted. French bakery here as well. Pretty nice wee bit, actually. Uh, Starbucks is up there. We've got a wee Greek. 
cuisine place here as well. A place on the right looks quite nice up there as well. Obviously, I'm expecting the prices to be outrageous. There's a wee selection of what you can get here. It's quite nice, actually. A bit of pita bread and stuff like that as well. There's a the cashier. Let's try and see how much a bottle of Coke is here. If it's under three euros. It's cheaper than most airports. Let's see. Yours. Ah, damn, no prices on it. That means it's going to be dear. Uh, are the prices there? I'm going to my glasses on. Beers are six euros. Let's see how much your coke is. Does that say four euros seventy? What the hell? That's a world record for an airport. Four euros seventy, right? We won't be going there, viewers. There is a limit how much you can pay for a bottle of coke. Although I'm pretty thirsty, I'll need a drink somewhere. Yes, that's Burger King. Right, no idea yet what gates we're going to be going from. Burger King's probably cheaper for coke. Get a coke in there, actually. Passport control. Remember, we're going to get a passport stamp now. Um, another gate. So there might, there might be more through here, so I'll fill them more through here if there's more restaurants and bars, but there's not really much to show you around here. Let's see if there's any around this side. We're going to be going to the left. Can't really fill them down there. Through security control, there's more duty free down there, I can see. I don't think we'll be in this bit, we'll be through the passport control bit there, but um, I'll show you anyway, see what's here. Uh, there is seats here and nothing else, I think. This is gates 5 to 7B. Yeah, there's nothing else to show you there. So the sad news, viewers, is this is the end of the line. Possibly for the whole year for Greece. I might not be back in Greece till next year. I'm going to try and do a couple of more um, Greek islands next year. Uh, uh, there's a chance, possibly, I could come back before the end of the summer, but it's unlikely. Um, the ones we're thinking of is Crete and Zante. Um, any other ones that I missed? Prey Mangers through there, okay, so that's a wee note. Something to note, Prey Manger is through there. I don't know whether they get something here or, or go through passport control and then hope there's something nicer through there. I'm not 100% sure of yours, what do you think? Should I just get a Burger King and accept that's going to be my lot maybe? I can't pay 470 for a bottle of Coke in that place. Uh, let's take a wee wander around here actually, see if there's anything else around this side. Nah, that's that, really. Pretty small, but we'll get through the other side, we'll see what's through the other side, viewers. We'll go through the new minute, I need to make a decision what I'm going to do for food here. This is the thing, because you don't know what's through the other side, you have to decide, do you eat here or do you wait to get through? The chances are, when you get through the other side, the passport control, I reckon it's, there's probably going to be limited food choices. So I don't know whether to get something here or not. It's a gamble, viewers, gamble, viewers. But I'm going to show you what's through the other side anyway, so you, when you come here, you know what to expect. Whether you want to go to Starbucks, Burger King, the wee Greek place, um, or if there's anything else through here apart from Prey Manger, we will go through here soon. What a disaster, viewers. I maybe need to rule Burger King out. I've just noticed they've got Pepsi instead of Coke and Burger King. That's criminal, isn't it? Okay, I was feeling a wee bit guilty not showing you some of the alcohol prices. I came to the conclusion I don't think they're that great. €21.20 for a litre of Smirnoff, same for Absolute Vodka as well. We've got gin just around the corner here, which is pretty similar. Um, pink gin, €23.60. Gordon's London Dry Gin, €20.72. So I've not really seen any great deals on this one. Oh, well, hold on, some Bacardi, some whiskey, I think. Captain Morgan's, €21.52 for Captain Morgan's. A bottle of Bacardi's, €22. Euros. Oh, Grey Goose, Gavin, you'd like this one, you mentioned for Gavin. 50 euros, 50 euros for Grey Goose. And for all the smokers, not the best advertisement when you've got smoking increases the risk of blindness, and that's not going to put any smokers off, is it? They probably already know it's not the healthiest thing. Same with the drink, to be fair, isn't it? Um, 59 euros for that one, 29 for that wee pack. Old Holborn. Okay, viewers, exciting stuff, eh? Right, need a decision where I'm going. Okay, so it's seven euros plus 
for a slice of pizza. What the hell? This is one of the most expensive airports I have been to. Okay viewers, I'm now through passport control. I decided not to go for a Burger King, Pepsi even with side viewers. Um, so we've got a pub here, we've got more duty free over here as well. Pre a manger are advertising, you can watch football matches live from the seating over here. They have got TVs down the back, so that's quite interesting if you ever come here and there's football on. It's pretty good. I have made a mistake coming through here, but it's jam packed through here. There's not many seats, if any, I don't think I'm going to get seated. There's a couple up Pre manger here. Um, this wee bit at the back is pretty cool, but a couple of TVs at the back. Um, yeah, but the seating's definitely limited here. I'll probably be able to grab something to eat here, I would think. Burger and hot dogs there, or maybe a wee burger in there, actually. We'll see how much the prices are on pre What do you think for a wee bottle of Coke here? Ah, oh, it's a cartel. It's a monopoly. Four euros seventy. They're all they all keep to the same prices. Airports are they're, 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 they're like the mafia, I'd say. You've got no choice but to give them money. Uh, star chips, yeah, yeah. A slice of pizza, seven euros. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you that in the previous video. Maybe cameras went out of uh, charge just at the end there, so that was a bit of a, a shame. Uh, I might end up going in the pub, but I'm not drinking, uh, so not the same on the way back really as I having a beer, it's just not the same. I've got a terrible seat in the flight as well, I've got 1D, i never been row 1, uh, people just stand the whole flight waiting in the toilet and if it's a 1 on the left hand side, it doesn't even have a proper table, nobody in front of you to relax, I'm going to try and move seat when I go on, I'm going to ask the girls needed yet, um, all the guys, is there any way of moving seats because row 1 in my opinion, even though they charge you extra because you get extra leg room, it's the worst seats on the plane, row one. When I checked in there, I was very disappointed. How you doing, mate? All right? Oh, yeah. All right? <laughs> so, uh, mate, Neil, wasn't it? Yeah, Neil, Neil from Leicester. Neil, that's right, Wendy. Okay, I met you guys the other day. There, You're just yeah. over there. I love to meet you again. I'll just wrap this video you, up. Yeah. Viewers, hit the wee subscribe button. Uh, as I say, great to meet a viewer in Coast Airport. <laughs> okay, viewers, thanks.